Okay everyone, now we're going to get started with our workout. Um, this workout is great for beginners. It's great if you want to get active and um, set some small goals um, to keep yourself healthy and to keep yourself from being too bored in quarantine. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with an exercise and we'll do that for about 30 seconds and then we'll take about a 45 second rest. In between those rests I'll let you know what we're going to do next and um, some little tips and pointers about posture and um, ways to do it. Um, so we're going to start with uh, seal jacks. Uh, with each exercise I'll explain um, things about form, how we're going to do it, and uh, we'll do it for about 30 seconds a piece and then we'll take about a 45 second rest. Okay, so seal jacks are like jumping jacks. Um, you're going to bring your arms out though on the side when you bring your legs out. So they're like, uh, like this and then up. Okay, here we go. Great job. Good, keep it moving. Make sure you're breathing. That's important, make sure you're breathing. Good, you're halfway there. Great job, keep going. Keep it moving. Good job. Good, make sure you're taking those good breaths. Almost there, guys. And stop. Great job, you got to the first exercise. Go ahead and take a 45 second break. Yes. Now, if you need to go get a drink of water, go ahead. Uh, make sure you go at your own pace, guys. Make sure that you're taking nice deep breaths. Everybody's at a different level. So if you ever feel you need to modify the moves, modify the moves. If you feel you need to take a break, make sure you take a break, okay? Yes, and if you can't get through that 30 seconds, that's all right. Um, go ahead and take a breather and then get back on it or wait until we move on to the next exercise and that's totally cool. Okay, now we're going to move on to our next exercise. It's push-ups. Uh, and when you think of push-ups, you think maybe I'm not fit enough for push-ups yet or um, maybe I can't remember the last time that I did a push-up, which is alright uh, because we have two modifications that you can do if you're not comfortable doing regular push-ups. Um, so one of them is that you'd be able to position yourself against a wall and lean in with that push-up um, motion. So you're going to come in and come out, and uh, it's, of course, easier on a wall, but um, just to give you an idea of that modification, and then we also have one for the ground, if you're more comfortable doing that. Uh, so this one is, of course, staying on your knees instead and coming down, or you would also be able to uh, come down maybe halfway if you feel like, okay, I can't get that full range yet, that's all right, you can be right here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get started. We'll do push-ups for about 30 seconds. Uh, feel free to take breaks, of course I know I will. Um, and, you know, get your breaths going well and then get back in. Here we go. Great job, guys. Good job, keep it moving. Remember, if you need to take a break, you go ahead and take a break. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take a break, take a few breaths, and then I'll come in. You can do however many when you come back. I'm comfortable right there. And Good that job. was our 30 seconds. Great job, guys. So we're now going to take a 45 second rest. You earned it. Great job, guys. Uh, you made it through the first two workouts. We're going to move on to our third out of five workout uh, exercises. We're going to be doing one that you're all probably familiar with. This is mountain climbers. Uh, you either love them or you hate them. So here we go. Uh, we have modifications for these exercises. Um, with mountain climbers, you can do it the standard way, or you're also able to uh, kind of walk yourself through it and go at a slower pace. Don't forget to take breaks. You can come up out of the position and then come back into it and take it from there. So we're going to also be doing this for 30 seconds. Get ready. Here we go. Good job, guys. And I'm going to modify right now just to make it a little bit easier to help myself move all the way along the workout. Remember, you can make adjustments on what's good for you. And then 
As you get more advanced, you can move up to the next level. And I'll come back. Nice, keep pushing through it. Great job, guys. Feel that blood flowing. Good job, great job. Next exercise. Nice. Great job, guys. We're going to go ahead and start our 45 second break, and then we'll come into the next exercise. Y'all are doing great. All right, I know we're going to move into the next exercise now, and um, you know, I know that a lot of us have been, you know, sitting around a lot because we're in quarantine, um, doing school work from home and whatnot. Um, we're going to do a sitting exercise, but it's a little different than when we're sitting at home in quarantine. So we're going to come, lean ourselves against the wall. This is called wall squat, of course. Uh, have your feet about um, shoulder width apart, so about right here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. If you feel like you can't uh, be in that full, you know, seated position, you don't have to. You can be up here. Um, you can kind of modify a little bit um, so it takes some of the burn away and gives you a little bit more stability. Okay, here we go. And we're starting the clock. Good job, guys. No, we only have one more exercise after this. One so more. Push through this one, and then we got one more, and then you guys did it. All right. So this is a good exercise, a good series of exercises to get you guys continually uh, exercising if you're not used to it, or if you want to just have something to do to keep you fit. It's also good for that as well. Also, feel free to bring in a friend or try this workout again, and um, you know, or practice it throughout the week, something like that. Yes, we want to know your results, how you feel after this exercise. I know yeah. that after Sasha and I did it, we feel great. There we go. Good job. Yeah, feel free to give us tips, suggestions, um, and ways that we can make it better and more comfortable for you. Go ahead and take your 45 seconds of rest, and then we'll do our last exercise. Good job. Hi, guys. We're back from our break. We're going to start on our last exercise. Our last exercise is burpees. We are going to do 30 seconds of burpees. Um, but if you finish five of them within that time span early uh, or late, it doesn't matter. We're only doing five. Uh, Joseph is going to demonstrate to us how to do a burpee with the proper form. Um, so go ahead and jump, Joseph. He's going to jump. He's going to come down to the floor, kick his legs back, and then come into a push-up. Sorry. It can be a small push-up or you don't have to do the push-up. And that's where this is great because you can do it modified or not. And then you come back up and we repeat. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. This is our last one. Uh, glad you're with us. Let's get started. And jump. One more. Two. Three. Four. Last one. Great job. If you're still working on it, that's fine. Um, and if you've already finished them, then great. Um, go ahead and take your 45 seconds of rest. This is our last rest. We finished our workout. Congratulations. Good job. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, we had a great time. We hope that you'll join us again on another workout video or try this one again during the week. Uh, we want you to feel good about yourself. Remember that the message today was to feel positive about yourself, um, to feel confident, and that this is a celebration of you. Thanks and have a great one.